Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. Oh, it is Marvelous Monday. We're so grateful how God has blessed us all this weekend. I hope you felt as blessed as we were. We thank God for our wonderful time of sharing with him and sharing with the people of God. Today, I want to take a moment of personal privilege and say happy birthday to my great nephew, Josiah. Yes, I'm the youngest of nine children, which means that my oldest brother um, and his family and his children have children and I'm a great nephew. Uh, I'm a great nephew in two ways, I hope. One, because I do great things for them and they're my nephew's children. And so happy birthday, Josiah. Look with me in the word of God out of 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, verses one through eight, a very powerful word. We find out that this message comes to the church of Thessalonica and it comes to them saying, dear brothers and sisters, I urge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to live in a way that pleases God as you were taught. You know, it's important for us to know that God wants us to live in the ways in which we were taught. Well, as this letter comes to the church of Thessalonica, they have been taught the principles of the gospel. They have been taught the good news of the message of salvation that comes through and by Jesus alone. They have been taught how they should live a life that's in harmony with what they preach and what they teach. Now we find out that he is encouraging them to live in a way that pleases God as we taught you. Well, it's oftentimes that we have been taught things from different people, but the question comes, were you taught the correct things or were you incorrectly taught? This text begins to remind us how God wants all of us to live in the way that we were taught, how we were taught about the authority of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He's writing this message because he wants to remind them how God wants them to remain faithful, how God wants them to remain dedicated and sacred to what he has assigned to them. He's telling them that I want you to withdraw from all sexual sins. He knew about what was going on in their region. He saw about all of the passion and the lustful things that were happening in their world and how they were finding themselves lusting and, and having passion for idols and worshiping idol gods. He tells them, I want you never, never do anything to violate what you have been taught. I want you to walk in harmony with the good news of the gospel. I want you to realize that any time you're about to make a mistake, always ask yourself the question, does this please God? You know, wouldn't that be powerful for us in our lives today? Can we live holy lives, lives that are pure, lives that glorify God, both in our mind, our body and our actions? This text comes to us because he finds out that people are becoming very disobedient. They're finding themselves drifting away from the truth of the gospel and they're following the traditions of men that always has a lower standard. My brothers and sisters, we always have lower standards when we create something less than what God asked of us. So today I wanna to remind you that God has so much more in store if you and I are willing to surrender and submit to him. In this year of 20 and 23, God wants to bless you bigger and better than you ever thought it would be. So always know that you're exceedingly and abundantly blessed and take the Lord with you everywhere you go. And we'll look forward to sharing with you again on tomorrow. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org and select sow a seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed. And may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.